Welcome to another episode of Mango and Pals. The bar for argument. me is what much faith, lower. What faith can I have in you, dude? All I need to do is oh, show yeah. up on MIOM rank, and I did it. So you want to be top 100? No, there, really there, was, there be, was another stipulation. I want to be above Gatsu. Better than Gravy? Ooh. Ooh. If that was a goal, I would... Why isn't that your goal? It's too low. Ooh. Ooh. Too low. So throwing a shot. By Plus the end of the year, if I literally try my ass off, that I won't. Is there any question oh. that I'm not going to beat Gravy's ass? I'm saying, I just think that you have too much on your plate, and there's no room to squeeze a little melee. In. All right, well, let me I explain have... something to you. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm yeah. going to be honest with everyone. Uh -huh. Hopefully, Sophie's not watching. She is watching. She's always. She's watching. probably not watching. Is she literally here? She's not here, right? She is. Oh come on. Hashtag Scars Last Chance. Yes. Do you guys know why that's there? 2016 oh God, is a big year for me. I'm in the middle of buying a stupid house. But the motivation for buying a house is that perhaps, you know, in the next few months, we'll be attempting to increase the number of human beings that exist in the Scar Newman family. Ooh. Scar's going to get it on. <laughs> Therefore, so today, uh -huh. in 2016, when Baby Scar does not exist and I don't have to <laughs> worry about that person and uh -huh. feeding him. Scar, can I say something? I can spend all the time that I would be spending on the baby playing Melee, which is the plan. New house, okay? New rooms. Uh -huh. And you know what's going to live in that new room? A beautiful CRT with a 2000 XX training pack. Get out of here, baby. All right? Why can't I reach the level of Gatsu? Explain it to me, Mango. Because you, as everyone here watching has ever played a friendly set with Scar, you, my friend, are a rager. No matter how you look at it, you, you're a rager. And ragers never <laughs> succeed in anything. They hit, they hit, they hit walls. Because then the rage, you don't, you gotta get over the rage. And I think your problem is you get too mad at things in melee. So the only way to adapt in melee is. Learn to live with it and try your best to counter it. Which I've heard you complain about spot dot shine, for example, for the last five years. <laughs> when all I have to do is run away, bait it out, grab them. That's it. Solved. Let's say that the thing that I work on mm -hmm. is all up here. I don't worry about the fingers. Before we go on to I will say that 90% of the game, and that is no exaggeration, 90% of melee is played up here. Mm -hmm. been playing the game since I was basically in diapers. And I throw all of it out the window, worrying about execution, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Watching VODs. And all I do is I live up here. I think about mm -hmm. creating my castle of melee. If you worked on your mental game, you would be a million times better. So if you worked on your mental, I actually believe in you. But it's the hardest thing to work on in melee. Everyone can do this. How do you I work on it? Actually, this is funny. We're talking about Gatsu. Gatsu actually dropped a tweet this morning this that morning. I loved. I think it said, uh, I'm not going to pull it up. The gist of it was, how many times are you, how many times are you going to tell yourself, I lost because I played bad, before you realize that, like, until you wake up to reality, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, it's so easy to, like, write off a tournament loss. And that's the other problem with mentality, is that mentality and friendlies and mentality and tournament are completely different. Completely and it's, different. it's hard to compare, it's hard to compare them. What if you don't see improvement, and when you lose, you blame it on the other character? Then that's, that's, that's the like, worst. For example, that's when terrible. Toe fucking shines me, and I don't grab the stupid-ass ledge, and he kills me at 15. You have mm. to figure out why it's happening. But you know why it's happening? Because your character's so fucking good. See, that's this, why this, it's happening. That's why you're not going anywhere this year. Well, th th what, but what does complaining about the character get you? It gets me satisfaction that there's nothing wrong with me. There's just something wrong with the game, and I'm actually the best player big, in the world. You have to accept that sometimes you get got by the other guy. Sometimes the guy's better than you. In that stock, in that instance, in that moment, in that little moment of play, he's better than you. And it's honestly, try this. I'm gonna ready. I'm gonna give everyone here. I've talked about this on my stream a few days ago. Do it. I'm gonna give you this game-changing. I promise you, it will help you. It will just help you play better and perform better. So let's say you get shined by Toph. Yeah. In the dumbest way, at the edge, stupid side step way. shine. Mm -hmm. Boom! He grabs the edge, drops down, shines. You can a, be mad about it. B, complain a. about Fox. B. C, hacks it up, say Falcon sucks. C. Or D, go like this. Ready? This is all it takes. Ready? Just go. Next talk. Take us to CEO 2015, mm -hmm. where Mango and the Crimson Blur were commentating a set between myself, 
the best Falcon player of all time, mm-hmm. debatably, mm-hmm. and some idiot Zanguzen who did this mm-hmm. for eight minutes. Okay, so this guy's an idiot, yes. Also, add, add Zang How about to this? the shots list, please. What do you think about this? Huh? Uh huh. What do you think about that move? Let's like what? plug into the Matrix right now mm-hmm. and think about what was I supposed to do when this fucking asshole mm-hmm. lasered me for eight minutes, and as soon as I decided, oh, you know what? Let's like let's break the mold here, and I'm gonna jump at him up tilt. So the good. laser thing. So uh, that that kind of especially that kind of technique, which a lot of even top players have techniques that are just kind of get in your head. The fact that he got in your head, then he's already winning the battle. Even if he's done no damage and you're both at zero and if you're getting annoyed by it, then he he's winning. And therefore, you approach not the way you would approach if your mentality was just like more in a neutral state. Ah. Instead, you're approaching with this angry, this guy's fucking stupid. Why mm-hmm. is he lasering mm-hmm. me? He's playing like a fucking lame piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Instead of approaching like that, you approach like, let me just get there. Like Melee, you're trying to be as perfect as you can, but it's impossible. It's impossible to play this game perfectly. That's why it's good. And that's why it's amazing. So sometimes you will mess up, and that that's that's life. But what you shouldn't have it affect your whole... You know, you actually said something six years ago that actually stuck with me, where it was the first time I ever heard it, it fucking blew my mind. Mm-hmm. Where I've been going to tournaments for about a year and a half at this point. This was 2010? Mm-hmm. Pound f- four? So you were on top of your... You, you were, you know, easily best mm-hmm. player in the world at this point. And uh, I think it was the third round of pools. You were in a pool with G-Money and mm-hmm. Replicate. Mm-hmm. And someone else in there. And Joe was playing Joe was playing somebody, and we were watching. I didn't really know you that well at this point, but you were watching Joe, and you're kind of cheering for him a little bit. Mm-hmm. And Joe SD'd or something. He was, like, up. And then he SD'd, and he was down. Mm-hmm. And then you just said, it's okay, it didn't happen. Mm-hmm. And I was like, it didn't happen. Mm-hmm. I was like, but it did happen. But he's saying it didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. And you're not even, you're, you didn't even say, that's okay, pretend like it didn't happen. You just said, it didn't happen. Mm-hmm. Just, that's it. It's gone. Mm-hmm. And I was like, huh. And that's exactly and, – and, and six years later, here we are. Because, like I always say, you pretty much, like, you should never let your previous stock – whatever happened there, happen there. You play a kajillion stocks of melee in your life. It's kind of like Counter-Strike where every new round, even if you haven't got a kill in eight rounds, it's a whole new round. It's a whole new world of potential. So, like, melee is the same thing. Like, yeah, you SD'd or you got Shine Spike, but it's a whole new stock. You don't know what's going to happen. And if you let that stock affect you – then all of a sudden this stock is being affected by this stock for no reason. There's like a Falcon bomber where there's four Falcons at the start all in the bomber and the first one jumps off Mm -hmm. and gets on the melee world. And then that Falcon, when he loses the stock, he just dies. He's Mm -hmm. dead forever. And then the next one comes out of the plane. Mm -hmm. He like falls out of the bomber. And it's a new one every time. So what I've been doing, so are you ready? I'm going to give you some exercise. Tell me if it works for you in like a week or two. Mm -hmm. So you're playing, you just clear your mind, deep breath, you know, you close your eyes for a second. That's what I do. I just close my eyes. And then all you think about is a body of water. Ready? Think of a body of water. I'm picturing it right now. So you think of a body of... this. Is from, I haven't done it in a tournament because I'm just trying to get myself to, like, always be able to get there when I... Th- so I think of this body of water, right? And it's just... It's, uh, 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 eventually, you're just thinking about water. And then you're playing melee, and you're just like, water, water. And it's flowing and whatever, and then water. A bird. At some point, it's just... Um, it's just... Uh, you're... Cause you play your best in melee when you're not thinking about anything, and that's where your problem is. Your problem is, Scar, is you start thinking too much. All right, let's go. For Always think, and just think of the water, and then at some point, the water just becomes, you, you forget about the water, and it's, all of a sudden, you're not thinking about anything. Maybe for you, it's looking at the sky. Maybe there's some, for me, it's water. I look at the water, at some point, I forget I'm thinking about water, and I'm not thinking about anything. I'm just playing melee and nodding my head, yes, like... I want to show you after sun. this. I want to show you my. It's gonna look straight into the sun. If that's what works for you, it's all about. For me, it's water. I'm looking straight sun, into the sun. You know the sun's sun. gonna hurt your eyes. The fire of the sun. And literally, okay, look, uh, watch, and don't. If something dumb happens, be like, okay, cool. Is that why uh, Nun does his stupid ass reverse back airs? Yeah, because that's what his that's what his that's heart's that. telling him. And then if you're playing from that. The second you force yourself to do things you don't want to do, then it becomes a different battle. It's like I'm gonna Both of you, grab. I'm going to give this advice to you because I play with Lucky, and who's probably the biggest melee complainer to ever exist. You just ignore him. You, Your only goal is to <laughs> fuck All this right, character. Ignore, ignore this guy who's trying to take away from what you did. It doesn't matter what they give you. They, they, your they, props are the only ones that matter. They don't need to give you anything. Your goal is to destroy stocks, and if they messed up, you got it. And if not, then you know. It's like... Doesn't matter what they say. You're just trying to, cause there's also some other little mini mind games where he can be trying to get in your head. You don't even know. Yeah, I'm the best player in the world. 
Good. Now carry that on to the next match. And if you lose the next match, it's okay. You can still be the best player in the world. No. You should think about water, dude. I'm thinking about the sun. Everyone needs. Everyone just find something. It's like, uh, is it Happy Gilmore? Your happy place. Yeah. <laughs> everyone needs to find the place yeah. where things. You just go there. Mine. I look. At, I just think about water, and for me, that works. It's hard to like change a habit. Ha well, if you know the habit, it makes it easier to change. Easier to change. But, but it's, it's still, still hard. hard. Even for me, I, to this day, I still have a lot of bad habits, and that's just something you have to deal with forever. Hack says oh. he wants us to Skype him in. Oh no! Do you know how to Skype, Spencer? You Bobby, Skype Bobby, if in? if you Skype Hacks in, your career is over. I think you will never. No, no, Hacks will Hacks will definitely tell us the truth about some shit. Yeah, he will tell you to pick Vox and that you cannot. Trying to call Hacks in. So, the first step, because you know, there's there's a couple steps to this. You're gonna pa you're gonna pause the game. Okay. Now, you know, according to the tournament rule set, when you pause the game, you need to give you need to give up a stock. We don't give a shit about that. You're about uh -huh. to see why. Uh-huh. Okay, so this combo actually wins you all matchups with Falcon. It'll instant win, you know, all the hard ones like Fox, Falco, Jigs, Sheik. You're not going to have to deal with that shit anymore. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So what buttons does it say? I think you, I think you did you just did the looks like uh, it's like two oh, gray buttons two gray right. buttons a, a green a button green and button. a blue button it says L R A and I can't start. read the oh yeah 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 those are the ones we're looking for so you're gonna hit L R A start okay. and you're gonna get out of this game completely okay I hit um, it quick question is this a Falcon specific technique it seems like it's a Falcon movement right um, you paused you were the one who I think it might be yeah. Falcon specific technically you can do it with twenty four of the other characters but I've had a bunch of success doing it with Falcon. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, okay. So, I, so I see. I see the new screen, and I see this this circle uh, that represents, you know, the character that I'm playing. Huh. All right. Um, you're gonna want to find Fox. Yeah, he will yeah, tell, you, tell to you to pick Fox. Pick Fox. Yeah, he will yeah, tell, he you tell you to pick, pick Fox. Fox. You're gonna want to find Fox. So it was like 11 o'clock. <laughs> we still had a bottle of tequila and like uh -huh. a 12 pack of Bud Light. Like, we were still ready. Having a good time. Hacks is out. And then um, he w we would randomly throughout the night just start beating up his legs while he was sleeping. And he would yell. You know his voice. You guys heard his voice. It's yeah. so deep. I can't imitate so how he was yelling. You really can't. It was so girly. The fact that he could make such a girly scream out of that voice was crazy. And I can't even imitate it. Like, So we would just beat him up, and then we'd beat him up, and we'd stop, and he'd go back to bed. Like nothing happened. So then the next day, the mor we wake up, and Hax goes, why are there bruises on my legs? And we're like, I, I don't know, man. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Weird.